when crime is not uh, reported, uh, we are intelligence led and we go to where the crime is. And if it's not reported, then we're not going to the right places. So that's why we encourage uh, people to report crime. We encourage them to lock their things up and doing things to prevent crime. But if there is crime, we, we encourage them to report so that we do have um, accurate stats and we can deploy our resources to where they need to be. I think that uh, it's, an, it's a matter of uh of dealing with the issues that are at hand and, and finding the resources that we have out there and, and strategically placing them where they need to be. Um, we have large areas to patrol, like I said, and, and uh, that's what we have to deal with. And uh, we adjust our, our patrols and, and, and try and, and do the best with what we have. Um, I encourage people, again, not to take matters into their own hand because we don't want the Wild West. That's something that we're very concerned about. Um, we have uh, done a number of things to address that by um, combining our resources and partnering up with other detachments um, to put together a response out on the road. Um, we're also looking at other things. We're doing some strategic mapping of crimes and uh, where the, those are occurring and uh, focusing on uh, supports like uh, working with the Saskatoon Police Service, Regina Police Service, and our supporting police departments and other agencies to to uh, combat that. We are very willing to work with the public and, and the citizens in the rural area for in programs such as uh, the Rural Crime Watch program. There's other programs out there as well. Um, we are also open to any innovative ideas that uh, bring people in to work with the police to address this problem. Um, often a lot of those good ideas come from the people because they live in those areas and they know what's going on. Uh, and then we encourage them to speak to their detachment commanders and bring those issues forward.